Most of you watching this week's show will either use or know of solid carbide tooling. In this week's show, we're going to show you the importance of using quality product and more importantly, how it's manufactured. Welcome to this week's Wharf and Chips. So David, on this week's Wharf and Chips, we want to talk about the importance of using quality cutting tools and here at Renovo, how they manufacture them. So from your perspective, ZCC cutting tools, what's the, what, why is it so important to use a premium product? So in the case of round chunk tooling, um, for me there's four factors. Uh, the, the main factors on the actual cutting tool itself is a, a strong base material, a strong coat of the, with the grain, the, 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 the stronger the core, the stronger the tool. Obviously, the geometries and then uh, you know, the, the advanced coating. But then also, you've got the expertise of, of understanding the, how to grind a good quality tool, also. And today, we're focusing on solid shank tooling. Uh, Regrinding is becoming more and more po uh, popular, I guess. Carbides get more and more expensive. You know, green credentials are becoming more important to businesses. How important is it you know, to get a, you know, a good regrind, get it as good, to, good as new as, as possible? It's, it's fundamental, I think. That, um, you, it's, it's, you need to offer that renew service these days. Like you mentioned, uh, you know, the, the sort of environmental challenges and the cost of the raw materials, but also for customer experience. You provide them with a quality tool up front for, for a new product, then you, want to, you need to offer them the, the renew service, which we are with Renovo, but we want the standard of the, 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 the renew to be to, to manufacture specification. It's, you know, there's lots of of regrind facilities on the market, uh, but with no interaction from the OEM. This partnership with Renovo is providing the, the regrind solution at, at man of our, our original specification. Mm -hmm. And in terms of ZCC cutting tools, you know, obviously you, you would argue you sell premium uh, product. How important is the application of these tools in the field? Yeah, there's, you know, there's, uh, there's, there's a, a massive market for, for round shank tooling and there's loads of competitors. and you've got to offer something unique in the marketplace today and I think that oh, I, we know that ZTC offer that quality product and uh, uh, by offering the, the best, um, the best uh, core material with the best grinding techniques and, and uh, some of the techniques that we use in are unique to the industry and the advanced coatings, you know, we, are, we are sort of providing the customer with the best solutions and um, productivity solutions for a cost effective price. And how about benchmarking? Uh, presumably, you're, you're always bringing new product to, to your ranges. How do you benchmark against the, the current industry incumbents? Obviously, um, there's a lot of research and development done at HQ before the tools go live. So, you know, we know that we know the sort of performance of the tools prior to to it in the market. But we also look to innovate as well. We, uh, we we're not trying to, to to sort of copy the market. We want to bring new geometries, new, new technologies to the market and within the, the last six months with this partnership, you know, in the pilot partnership with Renovo, Anthony has seen firsthand that the unique geometries that ZTCs are bringing to the industry. And just finally, what would you say to people at buy on price? Obviously pr price conscious, that's absolutely fine, but there's a lot of people out there still looking at price before performance. Yeah, I, th I think it's false economy, you know, it's, um, it, there's, there's a lot of, of good carbide out there at a cost-effective price, but uh, sometimes the, the tooling, befo tooling performance does, does, uh, does suffer. What we are trying to offer is a, a value, you know, a, a sort of value price, or a, a premium product, but at a cost that's, that's, um, that's accept uh, accessible for all. So whether it's a large blue chip or a SME, you can get a good quality tool from us that's, that's performing you know, up to three or four times um, better at the same price point in the marketplace. Anthony, we just spoke to David about the importance of quality tooling and why you should buy premium uh, manufactured tooling. From your perspective, you know, what goes into making a premium tool? So here at Renovo Solutions, um, we're only investing the um, highest and uh, best quality machine tools, um, which ultimately deliver a very, very high quality tool. Um, I think from our personal perspective, um, the highest grade and quality of carbide rod, um, best design software, best machine tools, best coding, deliver a very, very high quality tool. 
And you know, what, what makes you different is uh, many people that can regrind an emerald in the UK, but you're a little bit different to that, aren't you? Yeah, I think one of the key differences is that we've adopted from the outset an OEM mindset. Um, so we've invested in Industry 4 technology right from the start, um, employed very skilled uh, operators and adopted full OEM um, geometries and coatings and methodology all the way through the company. And here we're looking at an FX7 linear machine. What are the advantages of uh, linear technology on a grinding machine? The linear technology allows you to um, manufacture tooling quicker, more efficiently, but ultimately um, more accurately and with better surface finishes, which ultimately the cutting edge of the tool cuts the material. A better surface finish leaves a better finish on the job. Yeah, I guess the surface finish also helps make it more lubricant, doesn't it? Evacuate that chip from the workpiece. Yeah, absolutely. We can pretty much get mirror finish uh, finishes on fluke polishing operations with the linear machines, um, which are very advantageous in aluminium machining. So essentially, we're looking at three elements, aren't we? We're looking at raw material, we're looking at hardware like, such as the machine, and we're yeah. looking at, oh, I guess, four. We're looking at software and we're looking at people. Absolutely. How important is the, the last one, people? People is hugely important to us. Um, we've continued to invest in apprentices and upskill apprentices. It was one of my personal visions for the company. Um, but ultimately, a good operator um, and a good design engineer uh, delivers very, very good tooling. Yeah, that's half the battle, isn't it? That, you know, the software is very conversational. You mm. can import solid models and it'll essentially make it for you. But yeah. the engineer's got to know what that model needs to look like, yeah. hasn't it? There's no point designing something with negative relief arguments sake mm. when it needs positive relief, things yeah. like this. Yeah, I think um, the, it's quite a good discussion, that, because you can design a tool. Anyone can design a tool. But for it to be a tool that is a very good tool, there's a big difference in that knowledge gap, knowledge mm -hmm. skill. Um, and ultimately, it's something that we've distilled, instilled in our employees. And that's a new tool. How about a regrind? Because I don't know, there's probably 100 companies in the UK can regrind tools. Yeah. Renovo here, you would argue, is slightly different. Yeah, absolutely. So we don't regrind, we say. We renew, um, which ultimately, to be honest, sometimes regrinding a tool is more difficult than manufacturing a tool because you've got to pick up original geometries. You've got to have knowledge from the tool, which you then import into your own tool file. And it's worth pointing out, you're quite a young company, you've come a long way in a short period of time. So you can tell us a little bit about the heritage and where you started. Yeah, so the journey, um, I worked for a technical distributor before Renovo. Um, I had a vision for the northeast of England um, to start a grinding facility. Um, there was a big gap in the market to do so, but there was also a really big knowledge gap. I was really lucky to um, bump into Peter Dubler uh, from Siemens Power Generation. Uh, he come on board, give us the underpinning knowledge to grow the company. From them, we've employed apprentices um, and continue to invest in employment and technology and software to grow the company further. So, Anthony, just to conclude, engineers watching this video, watching this show, in, they're looking to select a regrind partner or renew in your case. Uh, how should they select? You know, how should they go to market looking for a partner? I think um, the end user needs to understand the knowledge from the regrind partner or from us, the renew partner. Um, from that, they'll have confidence in that the, the tools that are getting renewed are to the highest standard. Um, ultimately, we adopt OEM methodology, but as long as the regrind facility has that underpinning knowledge, I think confidently they'll get back a very good product.